restoration is, is occurring and is occurring in this family. I've heard about a Ford Bronco, a 74 or 5 model, the asking price was $100,000. And when that man took that thing over, it was rusted out because someone had rodeoed it, you know. And our lives get rodeoed. I mean, we get, we get ridden hard to put up wet sometimes. <laughs> I mean, this is how it is in life, you know. And But God comes in and restores. And so I want you to think of value increased beyond what was before. More value. And then the Bible says that children are a reward from God. And I want you to possess this today. I want you to really personalize this. A reward is something you get for doing something. Achieving something. And being willing to go through the process of restoration, and God says, I'm going to reward that. And thus we have another Tule girl. Is there room in the world for two? <laughs> Can we really handle two of them? But I'm really proud of Ruthie June. I've watched her since she was brought into the world. And uh, I'll, I'll never forget certain images when our school was in operation. Uh, some of these kids coming in, I'll never forget when Ruth would lead the morning devotion and say a wonderful prayer for all the people, for all the kids and the staff. Beautiful, beautiful formation of, of your life. So, May 18th, 2021, y'all remember then? Kind of turbulent times, kind of, kind of challenging. But this little girl was, was born to manifested the birth in Josh and Amanda's lives and in Ruthie June's life and everything from God comes with a promise so 127 song now listen to this it says unless the Lord builds a house they labor in vain and build it unless the Lord protects a city guarding it with centuries will do no good it is useless for you to work so hard from early morning until late at night Anxiously working for food to eat, for God gives rest to those He loves, and we're, we're applying this parentally. You know, it's futile to, you know, get up and earn money and put your kid in every program and, and have them at every practice and every rehearsal and get them involved in everything that we do these days. If God's not the one building it, you know, so we don't want to waste our time. He said, uh, "Children are a gift from God or a reward." The King James Bible says, "Children are." A heritage from God. It's God's heritage. It's not even our own heritage. Children are a gift from God. They are a reward from Him. Children born to a young man, we'll call you young judge, are like arrows in a warrior's hands. How joyful is the man and woman whose quiver is full of them. They will not be put to shame when they're confronted by the accusers. And so when somebody says, well, what about this and what about that? Just say, hey, stand still and let us shoot you with one of our arrows, right? So I want you to think about the challenge because with life comes promise, then problem, and then power. Jesus said in this world, you have trouble and problems, but I have overcome the world, I promise. And they said, my authority I give you, that's the power. So as she grows up, you need to think about the promise we know is there. And there's going to be problems. There's going to be times, Ruth, uh, a minute you're just going to strangle her. Don't strangle her. Let her live. Because she'll go through the problem and then the promise, the power will kick in and she can fulfill the promise. Now, you know, I try to exhaust thoughts and everything about speaking over a child's life. Now, this was pretty easy because I just thought about her name. But I don't know. I just felt a little witness about this. Her name is Willow. Willow Jade. We're going to call her Willow? All right. And I think, again, this is not, it didn't take me long to get here in my mind, but I want you to think about this. Because the Bible puts emphasis on names. In fact, we're saved by a name. I want you to think about that. Jesus saved us, but all you have to do is speak his name. God's into names. He even told them what to name Jesus. They would name kids that were crippled or born with a defect. They would name them for that. When Jacob came out, 
you know, he was holding on to his, his twin brother's ankle. And what they, they named him Jacob. That means heel grabber. Names are important in the Bible. And so this, this didn't take a long time. But there's a verse in the Bible. And I, I, I'm just asking God to let us speak this over her life today. There was a verse in the Bible. Times didn't go well for the people of God. David writes about this and he says, we hung our hearts on the willows. There was no reason to play music. The purpose was over. It was squandered. Times were horrible. So we took our praise, you know, our worship methods and we just hung them on the willow trees. But there was a time that they went back and they got him and they sang and worshiped again. And I just felt to speak over this lady, this young lady, this female, that she's going to be one that can sustain things that people are giving up on, things that people think they don't need anymore, and keep it ready to go for when they come back and say, give me my heart back. I feel like singing. I feel like worshiping God. So we want her to be strong in her convictions. We don't want her to let the hearts fall to the ground and get out of tune. I think she's going to be a lady in the kingdom of God that's going to be able to hold what people have suspended and, 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 and postponed and given up on for the day that they turn around and say, give me my heart back. And it'll be in tune. It'll be in place, ready to go. I mean, that's just my petition. But I think it's got a lot of purpose. We hung our harps on the willow trees. And then there came a time when they went back. Can I have my heart, please? So would you stand and let's declare.